Hey guys, <laughs> I'm Nick here today, and I wanted to talk about the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening remake trailer and my thoughts on it. In this new mucker talk, we haven't done one of those in a while. So, um, I'm really excited for this. Uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pre-order this one because that's like the one game of 2019 that I am 100 percent. Point ninety eight going to get, cause this game is what I'd been hoping for. I've been telling my friends for a while now that if they made it, that the next Zelda game I wanted was um a remake of of a uh, either Oracle of Ages Seasons or Link's Awakening in the same style of uh, Link Between Worlds, and I literally mentioned it to my friend today, like. I, that's kind of what I was hoping for today, but in the Nintendo Direct, but I didn't expect it, and then it just happened, and that trailer dropped, and I saw that water in the storm, and I was like, wait a minute, and that's the intro to Link's Awakening, so I was just so excited just when I saw that, oh my gosh, um, as you can see, I was watching it, this video, um, this animated cutscene, if there's a lot of that in the actual game, my hype levels are beyond infinity now because this animation was great. This had that exact Zelda style that we had in the games before Breath of the Wild, and I really like that. Um, and um, I had previously mentioned to my friend that Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and a lot of the Switch games just lacked the charm of their original series. Literally today, literally less than 15 minutes before the Nintendo Direct happened, and then they just, is, are they psychic time travelers? Because they just knew what I wanted, I almost felt like. I am so excited for this game, but I kind of wanted to show some footage just of what I think. Look at that. They're going for the just super polished HD 3D look. And, um, I was liking that. I, I mean, I enjoyed the Nintendo 3DS, the uh, Link Between Worlds game. My favorite, one of my favorite games of all time. Just so fun. But, um, it definitely did kind of make the graphics more, more realistic. This is going, this is going for the cartoony style. This is legit taking the condensed um the condensed sprites that they used in the original game and making them into 3D models so they're not adding any more too much more detail they're just it's the same thing the big blotchy eyes and all that and, oh my gosh I need to calm down it's just I'm so excited this is this is what I've been looking for in the next Zelda game. This is what I've been looking for since Link Between Worlds came out and I first got into a series, like, video games like I am now. This is great. The animation is perfect. The, just the way Link moves over and just that, that cartoony style, I love it. It reminds me a lot of Yoshi's Crafted World, which we also got a trailer for today at the Nintendo Direct. Um... Well, I'm trying to find... Oh, yeah, these side-scrolling levels, they... The backgrounds still look super well-detailed. Like, the, these backgrounds look, like, more detailed than the, um... The Breath of the Wild might have had in their backgrounds. But the lighting, um, the shiny surfaces to make it look like almost action figures, I guess. Uh, maybe toys, dolls, or whatever. And... Just the great character models that they're using. These character models are just fantastic. I am so excited. Oh, stupid boss fight. Sorry, I'm just really skipping around this, but... um, Yeah, that title. If this is what we get on the, thing, on the box art, I'm keeping that box art. I'm not just going to keep the cartridge and the thing because that box art that art looks beautiful and i like that tropical vibe um yeah finally a good shot of link look at that look at that lighting around it and that um 
the HD look. I don't know how to explain it. I'm pretty sure my brother would know this since he's a film guy. Ralph Parker, he has a YouTube channel. Go check it out. But, yeah, they make it look... They almost make it look like a flashback sequence in a movie to me, which makes me feel extra nostalgic for it. Uh, Link's character design, of course, it has the big blotchy black eyes and the sword and shield. And yeah, and the music, even the music in that trailer was just spot on. It was just the Zelda theme, but almost toy and kid inspired. So even though it look, look might look too cartoony for people, I really don't think it is because it looks really realistic outside of the character models. And the character models look like they used to. So, but in my opinion, I don't really want them to use that kind of music that they use in the trailer in the actual game. I want them to use classic Zelda music. I don't want to, them to take me out of the experience of just a normal Zelda game. But, yeah, if they use just classic Link Between Worlds style orchestral triumphant music, the thing that Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was lacking, this game could be the best Zelda game, one of the best Zelda games that we've forgotten in a while. Oh yeah, and also I felt like I should mention that even though it's 3D, it's now going to be a top-down kind of game, which I love. I kind of miss those kind of games since there's just been so many 3D Zelda titles. And yeah, this is what I wanted. Thank you, Nintendo. <laughs> Very cool. So yeah, that's why I wasn't live streaming today because I was trying to watch this. And, yeah, I'm going to probably do a Zelda review, too. But other than that, I'm, that's it. I'm just really excited, and I hope you guys are, too. So, tell me your thoughts in the comment section about this whole art style. I might go in more in-depth on the art and the artistic merit of it when we get more pictures of it. But with that being said, this is it for the video. Um, See you guys later, hopefully. Bye. Thanks for watching.